Hello and welcome to another Force of Will unboxing. Uh, I did order the fire deck, but I've actually had uh, some other decks arrive first. So we've got the darkness deck here, the vampiric hunger deck. Now what's interesting about these, they've got this weird funky box format that I'm not 100% convinced by. It does give you a sort of an idea of the contents. Um, it's actually a pre-built deck with three boosters and some nice dice. Um, the deck is split into two. You've got a set of foils and a set of regular cards. So apart from your J ruler, I believe you get two of each card as foils and two of each card as regular cards. Let's get the deck open and have a look. Okay, so when you get the box open, you get this little plastic container with your two sparkly dice, which uh, are quite nice. They're kind of crystal with a a little bit of sparkle inside. Oh. Yeah, seem to roll quite nicely. Uh, I believe that is uh, the one. Yes, that's the one. Um, we will save these boosters for a bit. You get your quick play sheet, so whoop de do uh, A slightly longer reference sheet, and of course the lovely but rather useless uh, play mat. It does actually talk about you know the play order and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got the two decks, so regular and shinies. Let's look at the shinies and we'll just very quickly look at the regular cards because they should be duplicates of what's in here. Starting off, we have Eternal Vampire Mikagi Saruja, is that? Um, he's our J ruler, he's imperishable and flying with blood counters. On his regular side, um, you've got this slightly funky artwork here with a judgment of three. Energizers one, and you can pay one to deal 100 damage to target resonator and put a counter on this card. So that looks pretty nice. Then we have a Blood of the Mikagi, which is a one darkness card. It's just regular file, no texturing or anything. It's a chant, target J resonator you control gets plus 800, plus 800 and precision. And at the end of the turn, destroy it. So as you can see, get two of those. Then we've got Castle of Oni, which is a three edition. Darkness Jane Resonators you control are 200, 200. And banish this card, put a target card from your graveyard into your hand. So again, two of those. Faithful Hellhound, a three cost fairy tale resonator. When this card enters your field, each player banishes a resonator. So a little bit of board control there. Uh, cost two for a heaven bound pheasant. Fairy tale again, flying. When this card is put into your graveyard from your field, your opponent discards a card. So that's nice. Oh, I like that. Uh, yeah, that's very nice there, uh, pentagrammy type thing. Uh, so two for what's that? Momotaro of the Sanzu River, I believe. He's also a fairy tale. 300, 300, as long as you control four or more resonators. Okay, considering a lot of your other things are destroying resonators, the synergy there might be a little bit funky. Uh, we've got Oni Strike, cost three for a quick cast chant. Destroy target resonator. If you control an Oni, this card deals 500 damage to your opponent. That's, yes, nice, like that. Uh, power Absorption, cost two for a quick cast chant. This card deals 600 damage to target J resonator, uh, plus an additional 100 damage for each vampire resonator you control, and put a plus 100, 100 on each vampire you control. That's really good if you've got a nice vampire deck. Talking of vampires, for a one cost, we have, what's that, Shara, third daughter of the Makagi. Again, nice uh, background, um, nice 3D look to that. This card cannot attack as long as there are no 100, 100 counters on it, and pay three, deal 200 damage, and put to counter on it. If your J ruler is ally of the Black Moon or eternal vampire Makagi, put two counters on this card instead. I'm feeling a bit anemic. Hey, you, give me some of your blood. Hmm. Oh, here you go. Here's a nice fatty, a drunken Oni. Costs five, a little bit expensive. When this card enters your field, search your deck for a card named Castle of Oni, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. Is this another Oni? No, this is the Monkey Trapped in Life. One cost fairy tale. When this card is put into the graveyard from your field, return it to its own hand and lose 100 life. And then we got a rather nice sort of eyeball darkness ring thing. So uh, four or five, one, two, three, four, five of those. And we should have pretty much exactly the same minus 
RJ ruler in our plain card deck. So let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so two Blood of the Makagi, two Oni, two Hellhounds, two Pheasants. Doesn't look quite as nice in the plane, but it still looks pretty good. The uh, Sanju River Dude, Oni Strike, Power Absorption. Hold on, uh, did we not have that? Um, yeah, I think we did. Just forgotten. The Daughter, the Oni, the Monkey, and then our five stones. So yeah, not a bad little deal to um, get that. It's a, a complete play set of cards plus a, a J ruler with guaranteed half foils. You could always buy two decks if you want an all foil deck. A um, couple of nice dice and of course the boosters. Let's have a look at those. Okay, so first booster. Let's get rid of that card. Okay. Tiger Charge. Quick cast, plus 400, first strike. Servant of the Mikagi, a vampire when it enters the field, but a 100 100 target counter uh, on the road. Oh, and you can potentially get a second one if you've got a fancy stone. Wise Man of Amansul, elf, two cost when this card enters your field. Reveal the top three cards of your deck, put an elf resonator from among them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your deck. Nice. One water is that. Uh, summon from Memoria. Chant. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put a card from among them into your hand. Put the rest at the bottom of your deck. Again, nice tutoring ability. Ooh. Azathoth. Hunter of Reality. This is a super rare. Nice. Ooh, look at that attack. So, ooh, eight. Okay, limit six. This card enters your field with six limit counters on it. Whenever this card attacks or blocks, remove a limit counter from it. If this card would be destroyed, you may remove a limit counter from it instead. If you do remove, if you do, uh, basically cancel the damage. Whenever this card attacks or blocks, destroy target J Resonator. At the end of the turn, if there are no limit counters on this card, destroy it. If you do, it does do 2000 damage. So it potentially could be a really cool human Cthulhu card, but I don't know. Very expensive and yeah. Uh, I'd be more excited about this if I didn't already have 10 of them. And, oh, what's this? Common foil. So, Storyteller Bard. Looks nice. You gain 200 life. Yeah, nice little life gain. And, oh, yeah, we got more. So, Tiger Lily. This is my rare. Like that. Cost two. If this card will deal damage to a J Resonator, it deals double that much instead. Rabbit. Cost one. Banish this card. Draw a card and discard a card. And then this world here, an addition, costs eight. Each turn you may pay zero to play your first chant rather than pay its cost. That's pretty sweet, although six. And then we're back to Tiger Charge. Now, did I miss out showing you something? No, nope, that was it. Okay, so not a bad little booster there. Um, two more to go. Okay, let's see. Can I get this open live on cam? Oh, oh no. Paper cut on my finger is... Oh, there you go. Normally don't have this much trouble. Normally these come apart much easier. So again, that's to protect you from your rare showing up. Okay, so Elf of the Gusty Hill, cost one, responding to... Ah, oh, it's just a quote. Whatever. Uh, Alhazred Zealot, cost three. Just got a quote. Oh, another servant of the Makagi. Magic Stone Analysis costs you two. Search your Magic Stone deck for a non-special Magic Stone and put it into your field. Then shuffle your stone deck. So, yeah, okay-ish. Oh, uh, JR. Why? Okay. Oh, uh, see the texture? There you go. And yeah, you can feel a little bit of a texture there. Charlotte, the Mage of Sacred Spirit. It's a J ruler. This card cannot be attacked. When it enters your field, draw X cards where X is five minus the number of cards in your hand. Whenever you draw a card, you gain a thou oh, 100 life. Pay two, discard a card, return target resonator to its owner's hand. And if we flip, just regular ruler, judgment to two, energize one, discard a card, rest target resonator. So a little bit sort of statusy from magic. We got a wind magic stone. And Fairy of Neverland, cost two, flying, and 
Anything that costs less than one, that's fairy tale, gains flying. I, I like that. Ooh, Priest of Darkness, Abdul Al Hazrid. Costs you three, pay four, banish this card. You may put a Cthulhu Resonator from your hand into your field. So, yeah, nice, nice little card. I do like the kind of Cthulhu theme. Uh, Zero is familiar, costs you two. It's a flying Resonator beast. Your J Ruler gains barrier. And cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. And again, 300, 300, as long as you control zero Master of the Magic Saber. Flying Cloud, a little bit of monkey magic there. Costs you one. As long as this card is not bestowed to a card and your J Ruler is wind, it gains plus 200, plus 200, and flying. As long as bestowed Resonator is wind, it gains plus 200, plus 200, and flying. And to bestow it, tap, pay one, and basically attach it, I guess. Okay, so back to the beginning there. So last thing, can we get it open? There you go, that's how it normally works. Okay, focus. So, Tiger Charge, seen it. Escape the Crisis, cost you one. Quick cast, recover target, attack or blocking resonator, prevent damage to it. Or the next damage. Uh, two, retelling stories. Put any number of target fairy tale resonators from your graveyard on top of your deck in any order and draw a card. Oh, I like that. Ooh, a Cthulhu resonator. Costs you one. When this card deals damage to a J resonator, destroy that J resonator. Hmm, I like that. Ooh, Red Riding Hood. Costs you two. It's a fairy tale. When this. Ooh, that text is very, very small. When this card is put into a graveyard from your field. Put the top card of your Magic Stone deck into your field, Rested, gains 400, 300, as long as you control 5 or more Magic Stones, and it gains Swiftness, First Strike and Precision, as long as you control 7 or more Magic Stones. I like that card, it's a super rare. Sadly, it's not super foily, but uh, yeah, can't have everything. Pandora's Mark of Hope, costs you 1, it's an addition, Bestower gains, Bestowed rather, gains 400, 400. When you bestow resonation within your graveyard, force one, you gain 200, multiply the dice roll, so roll one dice effectively, and bestow, um, yeah, fine. Ooh, another shiny. Protector of the Forest, costs five. Um, it's pretty decent fatness, but doesn't do much. And then Invitation of Disaster, costs you three. Chant, this is an ancient magic spell, which I believe does link into some of the characters in the game. Choose one. This card deals 800 damage to target Resonator. If this card was awakened, it deals 2,000 damage instead. Ooh, wow. Or this card deals 800 damage, and if it's awakened, it does uh, 2,000. To awaken it costs you eight. So pay seven plus four fire, and you can do 2,000 damage or... Yeah, 800 to either a Resonator or your opponent. Okay. Ah, mm. Sha Wung, a myth. Great Sky Sage Sung Wukong. Oh, hold on, is that Sha Wu Jing? This is the Kappa from uh, the Monkey Legend, so uh, Journey to the West. Um, okay. Pay one more for chance. That's a nice little annoying ability so one for a chant ancient magic quick cast choose one to do 400 damage or put three mana counters on your j ruler and then we're back to tiger charge okay there you go i hope you enjoyed that quick look uh the one thing i would criticize the starter decks for is the packaging is great till you open it and then you know this is no good for storing your cards they're, they're going to get damaged um, so that is a little bit disappointing. So I'm going to have to find a deck box to store this lot in. Um, but there you go. And of course you get three wheel points, which I'm still trying to work out how to get that working here in the UK. It seems to be a little bit of a problem. But uh, I'm sure I'll find a way. <laughs>